<laughs> boys, log, log, boys. Log. Hi, vlog. How you going? Hello, people of the internet. Hello, Alice Fan Club. Hey, Chris, they're here to see you. <laughs> oh. Ugh. So, this is further than 1.5 meters, and I don't technically know you people, so yes, everything's fine, I'm just well, filming. I'm just yeah. talking to a camera, I'm not talking to Greg. I think robots are looking more human, and this is a brilliant example of the one behind this camera, <laughs> so good job, robot. Chris. Yes. What does Anzac Day mean to you? Uh, sacrifice. I think Ow. it's a... Ha, sorry, I'll preempt that. Oh, I mean, what does Anzac Day mean to you? I think it's an awesome time for us as Australians to, to really stop and really thank all the people that came before us to protect this nation and the world in the past. So it's a little bit we can do to, uh, to remember them. Good answer. That is a lot better answer than I get. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go. That's it, stick with it, stick with it. Five more meters, mate. Come on, big drive, use your legs, use your legs. Yeah. Let's go, keep coming this way. Come on, get back up. You got it, mate, come on. Almost there, mate. Nice, man. <laughs> yep, yeah, you're good. Suck them in, in through your nose, out through your mouth. You're almost finished. No quitting. <laughs> hey, Chris. That's great. Come on, come on. Almost there. Two more meters. Nice. Good, good. Last crawl, last crawl. Good, 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 good. Nice. Nice. That was really a mental game because every round was, was pretty hard after the first round. And uh, doing it outside just added a little bit of extra challenge to try and readjust. That was awesome, really good. It was tough. Uh, actually, the, the crawls are the hardest part. Yeah. Just because your elbows start to get a bit raw. Disintegrate. Yeah. So maybe a long sleeve shirt. Or some like yeah. elbow guards or something. Sunscreen if you're doing it outside. Elbow guards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe a like a 
a mask as well because I swallowed a bit of grass. Yeah. And a few of those as well. Doing it with a friend is really good because you got that break in between it. Giving Chris the extra break by me going, of course, I think really helped him out in his, uh, in his workout. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that, Al. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. I thought it was really special watching because there was like no music, it was pitch dark, yeah. and uh, it was just you two out in the field in the dark, not even caring about how many rounds you got. Nah, just yeah. like when it's your time to work, you fucking work so you don't let your mate down. That's right. That was just, What's yeah, about? Trying to push your mate that bit further along. Just even if you go a bit quicker or, or even slow down a little bit just for him. So yeah, I think um, like that split second after you finish the crawl. And like the first, like your instinct is telling you just to like sit down, face away from your partner. Just, you know, don't show weakness, how <laughs> exhausted you are. But then like a split second later, you wake up and you're like, now I've got to get back and cheer them on. Yeah. You know, make sure they know that I'm watching them just as much as they're watching me. Yeah. That was good. Good for some intensity. Yeah. Good for a Saturday workout to honor some diggers. For sure. And, um, and if you can't do it by yourself, just work for, uh, do one round and then rest one minute. Or slide into my DMs and I will come <laughs> yeah. help out. Yeah, feel free to take Chris for the weekend. I believe it's uh, shaved yeah. ankles. Yes, something. Yeah, shaved ankles. Subscribe, Call like, mail, subscribe. Can you tell me where shaved ankles came from? Uh, yeah. Actually, great story. Great story. Uh, back in the day when I was a youthful athletic type, I used to play basketball and I used to roll my ankles a lot. So I uh, had to shave my ankles and tape them up. And I'd just have this hairy legs and this pale ankle. A moon, uh, a moon strike. Yes, yes, that it was. Uh, women, but, women, women loved it. It was great. <laughs> but, but the important thing to know about the story is the only reason he hurt his ankle so much because he showed absolutely zero care for his own like personal well-being, and he'd drive into the top of the key. So go and Google that if you don't understand. Um, and then he'd launch from about the free throw with one step, and then his second step would invariably be on the foot of like a center standing under the ring, <laughs> looking to block him. And he'd probably make the shot like most of the times. And then he'd end up like three meters away on the floor like this. Just like, and we'd be like, oh, okay, Chris has done it again. Guess we'll see him in about two weeks. Oh, I'm very well known at the Wesley Hospital. Yeah. Emergency. Yeah, right. Yeah. VIP status. Yeah. <laughs> 14 to 16. Yeah. So you don't shave your ankles anymore? Uh, look, I can't tell you that, Craig. It's, uh, <laughs> Something I keep keeps myself these days. You gotta go to Chris's vlog. His, his new Instagram handle shaved armpits. Yeah. <laughs> Great workout. Attack it. Do with a friend. It's been a hard week. Uh, you guys deserve a rest day. See you on the next one.